Based on my 1984 linearization of the Klein-Gordon equations, potential functions, generalizations of the electric and magnetic field strengths form a basis from which a compound model simply constructs the leptons, the simple differences between the quarks and leptons, how the quarks arose from the leptons, why there are these two types of fermions, and why there are precisely three generations for each of these types. The most elementary particle interactions classify the interactions between strong and weak, and further still between the W and Z type of weak interactions. Two simple conservation requirements give rise to all the fundamental particle interactions, and describe the structure of the weak intermediate envelopes. Further, a simple charge function determines the charge of every object. Further still, the only free assignable parameters for the entire model are four mass constants for each fermion generation. This presentation is essentially a summary of my book, A Mathematical Prion Foundation for the Standard Model. But starting from the different standpoint of my Helmholtzian operator matrix product, rather than my constructive algebras, developed primarily in reality as a mathematical model, and the weighted matrix product. Recalling the Helmholtzian operator matrix product form, you see here, So it is natural to make these definitions here. Through some ingenious mathematical manipulations, it can be shown that in free space, the thus defined E and B generalizations of the electric and magnetic field strengths also satisfy the Klein-Gordon equations, so have a particle nature. Identifying a particle nature member R as either an E or a B and R sub plus as either an E sub plus or a B sub plus, then a notation consistent with common usage would denote its particle nature and anti-member R sub plus bar as the corresponding E sub plus bar or a B sub plus bar and correspondingly for R sub minus bar, E sub minus bar, and B sub minus bar. And of course, the particle nature anti-member components correspond in the same way. Each of these members satisfies the Klein-Gordon equation, but only really do so as three vectors with three components or triplets and each bag of triplets must be triplets or triplets of triplets or triplets of triplets or triplets and so on. That is 3 to the n of triplets. The simplest and thus most fundamental members are triplets. The next most fundamental is triplets of triplets. These will be considered here. Denoting a triplet of triplets by S sub bar as the trinomial R sub 1, R sub 2, R sub 3 equals R sub 1 plus, R sub 2 plus, R sub 3 plus, plus R sub 1 minus, R sub 2 minus, R sub 3 minus is a 3 by 3 matrix. Then we can write S sub B as E sub 1, E sub 2, E sub 3 and S sub B as B sub 1, B sub 2, B sub 3. The components of each vector written vertically as the S sub R matrices you see here. Define the first fundamental objects as follows. Cap L sub I is defined as S sub E sub I. Cap lambda sub I is defined as S sub B sub I where S sub R sub 1, 2, 3 are as shown here. 
and define inline notation. S sub R sub I is defined as R1, R2, R3 sub I. So there are three pair of L lambda. Cap L sub 1, 2, 3 and cap lambda sub 1, 2, 3 are given as shown here. And let a function eta be defined as you see here with the properties that it is the identity function not changing its argument when j is not zero but when j is zero it flips an e to a b and flips a b to an e and the function sigma be defined as here that clearly creates the appropriate s sub r sub i component for the given component and i Finally, an S sub R sub I hat function is shown here, making combinations of the above. Corresponding to these fundamental objects, define these second order objects as three pair of triples, as shown here, which are, of course, merely a swapping of one component between the pair. Note, any number of swappings between the pair results in a member of these nine matrices. That is, it is a group transformation, so it is sufficient to consider a single swapping. Note also that including the originals, there are eight members. The other two pair of triples are as shown here. As you see here, the leptons and all the colors and flavors of quarks correspond to these cap L's, cap lambdas, and cap Q's by the associations given here. The table shown here may be considered a replica of the one found everywhere, including Wikipedia, except that the quark colors are explicitly delineated. Shown here are examples of hadrons, second order compositions, mesons, and baryons. The charge function acts as a linear function on any linear combination of S sub R matrix objects, independent of column generation with the characteristics as you see here. The function for mass is a little more complicated but for the first and second order objects works out to what you see here. An S sub R matrix with more elements than a first or second order object is termed an intermediate envelope. Note that the columns of the solitary S sub R matrix determine an object generation and the row configuration of the members of a second order object for a given column determine the color of the second order object. As mentioned earlier, this has been the summary of my book A Mathematical Prion Foundation for the Standard Model, available on Kindle through Amazon.com. Find links to all my books at the website shown here.